Okay, so we're out at the Rimfire Gallery range here at Okeechobee, Florida, at Okeechobee Shooting Sports. Um, today is Volcorsing Day, and I was going to give you a tour of my four Volcorsing guns that I currently shoot. So let's go start with the first pistol that I ever made. This one I literally built from uh, myself. I, um, it was a Ruger 2245 light. I added the Volkortzen barrel, the energy barrel, the Volkortzen trigger kit, the extractor, the large extractor, um, all the internals were all Volkortzen, the hoe grip that I added, the Volkortzen compensator, uh, a single port compensator for 22. Uh, I have the Volkortzen mainspring, and this is actually the original Ruger bolt, but I polished the out of it so it would slide nicely. And it is definitely an enhancement, but it's not as easy as the other um, Volkortzen bolts. And I'll show you what I mean as far as uh, cycling the gun. Uh, this does use the Mark three magazines. Um, and that'll become important in just a second. I do have a Seymour red dot on the railway site. And uh, that's in 12 by MOA. And I added a little uh, oversized dial here for... Uh, the, uh, to adjust it to turn the sight on and off and adjust the intensity make it a little bit easier to grip oh and yes how could i forget my favorite part is they have a uh, thumb rest on the side of the gun that's from tandem cross and that uh, enhances my grip. and that is the first i consider it a volkortzen gun but technically it is a ruger 2245 light okay moving on to the next one this is a 100% pure Volkortzen gun. This is the Scorpion. It's also in the Mark III family and uh, is essentially the same gun I just showed you, the same as uh, the one that I built from scratch, uh, part by part by part, versus uh, being completely uh, assembled this way from the factory, right from Volkortzen. Uh, same stuff, it actually has the same whole grip on it. It is an aluminum uh, lower on this gun. Whereas on this side, it's a uh, polymer because it's the Ruger 2245 light. This is actually made out of a billet aluminum. It has the Volkortzen trigger, the LLV barrel. This is the multi-port compensator uh, for the 22 uh, long rifle. Um, this is the actual Volkortzen bolt. This is in diamond-like carbon. And boy, is that thing silky, s silky smooth, slippery, even without oil. I just put a little drop of oil on the in, on the outside and on the inside, so it slides nice back and forth, and it works amazing. Racking this gun with this little uh, cutout that, uh, that Volkortzen put on here is brilliant. It makes uh, cycling the gun or racking the gun so much easier, loading the gun. And this also has the uh, Volkortzen main gun. Again, another Seymour Railway site with the 12 MOA. They're, I, all the mine are in polymer. I saved the $50. You can get them in aluminum for $50. Bucks. Um, mine are all polymer, and they're all... Uh, they do not come with a clip. Where the, uh, the, uh, adjusting the intensity. Click, 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 click. I don't do that. Again, that's $50. I just save my $50. Bucks. Uh, okay. So that's the Scorpion. Scorpion uses the same magazines as the Mark III. The uh, Ruger that I upgraded to old Volkswagen, uh, and this one uses the same exact magazine. Now that's important because when we move on to the brand new Black Mamba, this is the Black Mamba. This is by far my favorite of the three pistols. Um, I actually bought these two at the same time. Uh, the Scorpion I bought a little late, and just as it arrived, literally the day it arrived, Volkswagen announced releasing the uh, Black Mamba. There are some significant differences. Um, first and foremost is this is a Mark IV style uh, gun. So it does have a one button takedown. Whereas, um, if you, anybody who's ever worked with Ruger from Mark III and down, you know what a pain in the rear end is to take the one part and put it back together again. Uh, Ruger solved that problem uh, with their new Mark IV version of the gun and uh, all fortune followed suit and made their mock for us the black mamba black mamba i feel it like it's a little bit lighter i love the new tandem cross grip that they have here. i don't remember what they call it uh, hex tactical hex something like that whatever it is i'll find out what it's called and let you know but i love their new grip 
Uh, it just feels great in my hands. All the controls are oversized. Uh, the safety and uh, uh, bolt release all feel fabulous. The magazine release and a, uh, an oversized uh, button as well. You drop the mags, which fall right out nice and easily. Uh, the barrel, you'll notice, is a little different. It's, it's a kind of hexagon, or sorry, it's a laid on its side, more of a diamond shape pattern. Um, I don't know if you can see it here, but it's more of a diamond shape versus the traditional rounded or squared off uh, look to the other barrels. Uh, it definitely looks different. It looks, I think it looks awesome. They also have some sort of scaling on the uh, barrel. Uh, to, I guess, <laughs> not so much to lighten it because I didn't take that myself. I think it's just to look cool as heck to, for the to uh, represent the Black Mamba Snake. Uh, so, and I did that. It looks awesome. This gun came with the uh, target sights from Volkortsen. Um, I added, again, the red dot 12 MOA, same one as on all the others, the red uh, by Seymour. It also has the carbon-like, uh, sorry, the diamond-like carbon bolt. You can get it also in um, silver. It's called something else. I can't think of the name at the moment, uh, but they can make it in silver. So it's your choice as to what you'd like to have. It is the Volkortsen trigger, all the internals, the extractor, the Eagle Edge extractor is critical. I've had it on all of these guns. And they do have the one port comp, which is also uh, on a, on a, turned on its edge to make it look like a diamond. Uh, very, very cool. I left the iron sights on it just because I didn't want to misplace them. I didn't need them for any reason. There's no coating going on. But, uh, I don't know. It looks cool. I like it there. I'm just, I'm just leaving it mainly so I don't lose it, but it does look cool. Uh, what else? I did put a. Um, I went to uh, Stripling Gunworks and bought my uh, thumb rest for this gun, which bolted right up, no problem. Uh, and I love it as well. You can see that there's a Picatinny rail um, cut into the bottom of the gun, comes with it. Uh, same thing on top, which my sight is mounted to. In fact, all of the barrels I got from both ports on the top to continue rail. Uh, they did not have the bottom rail on the other two guns. There was a place to, you can see the two uh, screw holes to mount one if you wanted it for any reason, flashlight or laser or something to that effect. But um, they just went ahead and put it right on to this gun. So already there, one less thing to think about. Uh, the Mark IVs use different... <coughs> Sorry, something was bugging me. Mark IVs do use different um, magazines, so keep that in mind. If you go ahead and upgrade to the Black Mamba or uh, from any of the, the Mark IVs, it is a completely different magazine. These are actually from Volkortsen. Um, it comes with an oversized base pad and uh, the Volkortsen um, uh, button here to uh, load the magazine. It has a little bit of a... Uh, Stippling in it to get a good grasp, grasp on your thumb when you're pulling it down. So that is the pistol lineup. They're my three beautiful pistols. I love them all. I'm going to take the sight off one and use it as an iron sight gun. I haven't decided which yet. Uh, and then keep the optics on the other one. Point being, I'll have an iron sight gun, a, uh, an open rimfire open gun, and then I'll have a backup that I can use without a sight depending on which gun I need to, to replace if one should go down or get sent back to the factory for an upgrade, something to that effect. So there's my uh, Volkorts and pistols. Now we're gonna move on to my 1022. This quite frankly is not all Volkorts in. Uh, this is a Franken rifle, I call it, because it's made up of different components. Butt stock is made by Smoke Composite. The grip is just a standard AR-15 grip that you can get anywhere. Your choice to pick whatever you want. I don't remember which this one is. Uh, the P, I can never remember. PMACA chassis is made out of aluminum, all one piece of aluminum. Um, ultra lightweight. I have a kid receiver and a kid bolt. I'm going to be swapping those out for Volkortsen because I just want the gun to be entirely Volkortsen uh, so that the components work well together. Also, this gun does fire amazingly easy. It, it is perfect. There's an oversized bolt handle on there. And uh, again, the 12 MOA Seymour. And then the highlight of this gun, uh, the chassis, a lot of people notice that chassis, that chassis. Uh, and of course, the Volkortsen trigger, if I didn't mention that yet. 
Uh, standard uh, mag release, which I'm going to take a look at that at some point. Uh, but for now, that's uh, that's standard. Um, I'd like to have one a little bit more oversized, maybe the kind that comes down here, so it's easier to release. And it comes down around, and you can release it. And then the Volkortsen T H M bolt, tight tension. Uh, and then the carbon fiber barrel. They call it their THM, I think it is. Uh, something about carbon fiber and tension carbon fiber. There's a stainless steel barrel down the center of this that's, uh, you know, it's tiny for the 1022, and then wrapped in carbon fiber for strength and to keep it lightweight. And then again, the uh, that is a tandem cross um, compensator at the end. So that makes up my, uh, my 1022 rifle. With that rifle, I have taken second place in Florida State overall in the Master Division. Uh, in the Master Division for Rimfire Open. And I just went to the Nationals last week and took third place uh, with Rimfire Rifle Open in the Master Class. So, the gun has been performing outstanding. I put up an 82, which is my personal best time at the Nationals, so that worked out well. We have the uh, Worlds coming up next, and I'm looking forward to that. One note on magazines, this gun uses the standard 1022 magazine. Um, I find that the black 10 round magazines are the best way to go. The clear ones I've had a ton of trouble with, and anything 15 rounds and up, definitely a lot of trouble with. So stick with the 10 round black magazines. All right, let's see how they shoot. Did he bring it back with him? No. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get this gun ready to go. Remove our safety flag, insert our magazine, bullets forward. Put one in the chamber, magazine's on, safety's off. And let's see what we can do here. I'm going to move down some so you can see me shooting. Awesome. The hammer my hammer. You can see how smoothly that gun shoots. It's a beautiful thing. I use this gun in competition and uh, I've done very well with it. Now I'm gonna show you a downrange of hitting some of it. Here we go. You can see that's no challenge for this gun. Let's take this tree over here. Hit that tree a little bit more. These ticket targets are really close, but we'll take it out further for you in a little bit. You get the idea. It's an accurate weapon. And then we'll do one more mag just to give you the gist here. Hopefully we're getting some tape. Get the camera standing up a little bit more. Here we go. Ah, you can sneak back around. You weren't having it. So that's the 1022 rifle. All right, so that was the 1022 rifle. You can see how accurate and fast it is. Um, hitting targets is no problem with this gun. Thank you, Bull Corson. In this case, I got to give some props to your kid. But their 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 bolt and uh, receiver is working well in my Volkortsenized rifle. Okay, on to the pistols. I'm gonna take out the back in front of us. My guns are started in for a little bit further down range than we are here, so I'm gonna aim low. See how we can do here. Just like that. Take on the tree. And you can see that works pretty good. All right, so next up is my scorpion. Let's go ahead and see how this thing does on the tree. Uh, I'm sorry, on the plate rack right in front of us. Here we go. Let's work on that little tree over there now and see what happens. As you can see, that shoots fast. So now I'm going to pull out the black mamba. I just like saying black mamba. Black mamba. Um, Again, this is the Mark IV, so we are switching to the Mark IV magazines. All right, let's see how we do it. All right. 
Focus to Black Mamba. Let's see what we got. And that's the Black Mamba. So as you can see, all four of them shoot great. All right, guys. Take care.